I just got for a short one, honey. I'll be back in 30 minutes, maybe a tiny bit later. Sometimes life changes dramatically in a fraction of a second, and the road to recovery can be long and hard, both for the patient and the relatives. The ICU should feel like a safe haven, the right place for receiving the right treatment in a difficult time. But it can also be a scary, stressful environment. This is a typical example of what patients may have to endure in the ICU. Frequent alarms, not always urgent, but always stressful. Keeping the ICU quiet is important for the recovery of all patients, including Josephine. It enables her to get the rest her body needs to recover. A quiet environment also saves Joe's family from stressful disturbances and improves the working situation for those who are taking care of her. She looks good. Healthcare medical device and solution suppliers, ASCOM, B. Brown, Getting A, Philips, and Guard RFID have joined forces with integrating the Healthcare Enterprise Organization, IHE. Their aim is to tackle the issue of distributing alarms to the right caregiver at the right time, while keeping the ICU quiet and peaceful. Let's take a close look at how this is done. Hi, I got a message on my mobile that Joe needs me. Let's see what's going on. In a traditional ICU, this situation could have been very stressful for Joe and Brian, not knowing why two alarms are sounding at the same time and how the additional noise could have affected Joe. Looks like she had a little bit of a mucus in her airways, but she's much better now. This is how the adoption of the quiet ICU model resolved the situation without making any sound. An alarm from the Philips Vital Signs Monitor occurs the device is in quiet mode, so there is no audible noise. The Philips Alert Reporter sends an alert report message to the ASCOM Alert Manager and to the Philips Central Monitoring Station. An alert report message is also sent from the Getting A Servo U ventilator, which is in quiet family view. The alarm goes via the Alert Reporter to the ASCOM Alert Manager and to the Philips Central Monitoring Station via its alert consumer. The alert manager decides where to route the alarms. It disseminates alert messages via the Philips Alert Communicator to Nurse Ben's ASCOM MICO3 phone. When the nurse responds with an accept confirmation, the message is promptly sent back to the alert manager. The ASCOM alert manager passes the acceptance message onto the Philips and Getting It devices in Joe's room. The information is also transferred to the Philips Central Monitoring Station in the next status update. And, as we could see, Nurse Ben could resolve the cause of the alarms in a calm and quiet way. Here, Joe's father Doug and her daughter Lily are at the bedside when a kinked infusion line triggers the alarm. 
But what if Joe's nurse is busy when receiving the message? Not to worry. The system is designed to handle this too. Since Ben had focus on a more serious issue with another patient, he had to reject the alarm. The system swiftly redirected the alarm to Lisa instead, without any disturbing sounds. Hi guys, just got an alarm here, but Ben is busy with another patient, so that's why I came instead. Something wrong? It was just a kink on the line, but now it's fixed and she will be just fine. You heard? They have everything under control here. I think mommy will be okay. This is how the quiet ICU did it. Just like other devices in the previous scenario, the infusion pump system sends the alarm message to the ASCOM alert manager. And just like before, the ASCOM alert manager sends a message via the Philips alert communicator to Nurse Ben's ASCOM Myco 3 phone. All information from the alert manager is also transferred to the ASCOM dashboard. When Ben has to reject or doesn't respond in a certain time, the ASCOM alert manager redirects the message to the next recipient, who is Nurse Lisa. When Nurse Lisa accepts to deal with the alarm, the accept message is sent back to the ASCOM alert manager. The alert manager passes the acceptance message onto the B. Brown infusion pump in Joe's room, and Nurse Lisa stepped in to solve the problem. It's time for some new medication. I will go find another pump. Since Nurse Lisa wants to start Joe's medication while attending to her, she needs another infusion pump. There's not one available in the room, so she uses the Guard RFID All Guard application to find the nearest pump that is currently not in use. Every pump has an RTLS identification tag attached. This makes it easy to locate the equipment. At the same time, every pump sends its status to Guard RFID system. It is visible which pump is currently not in use and available. In addition to managing alarms quietly, the system also integrates ways to make work easier and more efficient for the nursing staff. I found the pump here. So I'm going to give her some new medication. This. Okay. Now it's done. In this case, the pump location provided by Guard RFID and pump status provided by B. Brown is managed in order to find the most suitable infusion pump. The location is displayed on the ASCOM Myco 3 smartphone. Physical therapy is an important part of Joe's rehabilitation in the ICU. What we saw here was Olivia accidentally disconnecting the communication between the getting a ventilator and its alert reporter. If an actual alarm condition would have occurred while the device was disconnected, our fallback functionality would have triggered an audible ventilator alarm in the ICU room. Once the connection with the getting a servo U ventilator is lost, its alert reporter discovers this and sends a disconnect alarm to the ASCOM alert manager which passes it on to the ASCOM Myco 3 smartphone and to the Philips Central Monitoring Station. When the connection is re-established, the ventilator sends an alarm update message confirming this to the alert reporter, which passes the message on to the ASCOM alert manager. The alert message is also inactivated at the ASCOM smartphone and the Philips Central Monitoring Station. These scenarios underscore the benefits of a quiet ICU for the patient, her family, and the staff who helped Joe recover from her accident. They also highlight the importance of establishing a standard for managing cooperation between solutions from different medical device vendors. Together, ASCOM, 
B. Brown, Gettinge, Phillips, and Guard RFID have implemented this proof-of-concept quiet ICU demo, according to IHE's Alert Communication Management Profile. This will help ensure that intensive care units all over the world become quieter, making difficult times calmer for patients and their families, and creating more efficient work situations for ICU staff.